Hey tech heads, Fina here. Today we're diving into the details of the MG Modular Scalable Platform, also known as MSP, which is developed by parent company SAIC Motors and branded as the Nebular Electric Drive Platform in China. Now, before we dive in, I want to take a moment to welcome you. If you're a new viewer, welcome to the channel. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. It's good to have you all here. Uh, please do consider subscribing if you find our content interesting. And I also want to invite you to like, share and comment as you see fit. OK, so the MSP platform. So this platform promises flexibility, optimal space utilization, safety and an enhanced driving experience. But we all know those press releases can sometimes be quite the sales pitch. So let's take a closer look and see if it holds up. So here's something really exciting. The MSP platform is adaptable and can support wheelbases from 2,650 millimeters all the way to 3,100 millimeters. This means it can underpin a wide range of body styles from compact hatchbacks and sedans to SUVs and vans and even sports cars. So I would say this gives MG a huge competitive advantage. And after all, that's why you're here, isn't it? You've either already got an MG4 or you're considering getting one. And the MSP platform is a key factor in that. And if you're curious about MG's new Cyberster model, good news is it is also built on this platform. The platform also features a future-proof, flexible technical scalability with a broad energy matrix and power range, compatible with a variety of advanced software and hardware technologies. Personally, I'm really excited about the 800 volt charging technology. Could MG be the first to bring this in a budget EV? Could be a good opportunity for the next model release. What do you think? The MSP platform is prepared for the future with its highly efficient drive unit system voltage, which can be upgraded from 400 volts to 800 volts. So this suggests even faster charging times in the near future. Compare that to Volkswagen MEB and upcoming MEB Plus platforms, which unfortunately are not ready for 800 volts and won't be until 2028. Now, is it just me or does 2025 already sound like it's too late? The MSP platform also supports future battery as a service systems. Now, a uniform battery system could make battery swapping a breeze. On top of that, I just read the other day that NIO will be making their battery swapping stations accessible for other car manufacturers. So perhaps this is something MG4 drivers will be able to take advantage of soon. But what are your thoughts on these battery swapping stations? Personally, when I go to charge up, I prefer to, you know, get out, stretch my legs, maybe grab a coffee or something. But, uh, you know, as opposed to waiting on a battery swap, but to each their own. Plus, I think this might finally convince those holdouts who cite charging times as the reason for not getting an EV. Another key feature of the MSP platform is its integrated service oriented architecture, which enables over the air updates throughout the car's lifetime. So this means that your MG4 can always stay on the cutting edge of tech innovation. And I'd say that is pretty exciting. And last but not least, the MSP platform supports pixel point cloud comprehensive environment mapping, which is a key component in advanced autonomous driving solutions. Now, I'm a little bit skeptical on this one, but what about you? Do you think your MG4 will ever drive itself? There are always other options though, like support from Commodot AI's OpenPilot, which is an open source advanced driver assistance system. Have you heard of it? If not, I highly recommend checking it out. So thanks for joining me on another mini tech tour of the MG4. I hope this gave you a deeper understanding of some of the tech underpinning this innovative EV. Now, if this kind of stuff interests you, you might also wanna check out my video from last week where I took a closer look at the one pack battery. I'll leave a link in the description. As always, if you have any questions, thoughts, ideas, observations, please let us know in the comments. Also, if you'd like us to dive into anything else, please also let me know in the comments. Uh, please do like, share, and consider subscribing for more tech content. And also feel free to follow us on Twitter where we post daily updates from the EV world. And again, I'll leave a link in the description. So that's it for today. Thanks for coming by and I'll see you next time.